Last year, gender pay discrimination grabbed its share of the spotlight. From the World Cup champion U.S. women's soccer team suing over pay discrimination, to grocery store workers in Oregon authorizing a strike over low and unequal wages, the gender pay gap has made headlines. While their jobs may be different, these world champs and grocery store employees used the same strategy to fight the pay gap. They banded together and took collective action. That's because one of the most effective ways to shrink the gender pay gap is quite simple. Join a union. So how do unions help shrink the pay gap? Instead of employees negotiating their wages one-on-one -on -one with their employer, when unions negotiate a contract, they are bargaining for all of their workers at the same time, regardless of gender. This removes a source of bias from pay decisions. During this process, unions can also uncover existing pay discrimination and fight to fix it. Despite this fact, women have been advised for years to focus on individual action to fight the pay gap, to go at it alone. Facebook's Sheryl Sandberg famously argued that women could simply lean in to get ahead in the workplace. But as Michelle Obama has explained, it's not always enough to lean in because that doesn't work all the time. And new research backs her up. When women do lean in and ask for a raise, they're more likely to be told no than their male colleagues. As it stands, there is a wide gender pay gap. In Oregon, the typical woman working a full-time job earns just 84 cents for every dollar that a similar man makes. That's right, just 84 cents for every dollar. Over the length of a career, that pay gap adds up to over $360,000 in lost earnings. For many women of color, the picture is even worse. Latina women lose out on nearly a million dollars over a lifetime. However, when women band together through unions, the pay gap nearly disappears. Nationally, women in unions earn 94 cents on the dollar compared to their male union colleagues. For Oregon public school teachers, the pay gap has actually been eliminated. Public school teachers, of course, belong to a union. If we are to end gender pay discrimination, we need to work together. We need to lean in to a union.